What was your role at Bad Boy Records? Well, it started really easy. <laughs> it started as head of promote, excuse me, head of mix show and street team. So if you don't, if you recall, Bad Boy was probably the first. If you talk to Steve Rifkin, it was the second, but it was the first street team ever. And um, you know, Puff brought me over, and Jason Jackson was the vice president. And uh, Jason Jackson decided that he wanted to go manage Lauryn Hill. Now, my role was not so much as being a mixed show director. I didn't know nothing about radio. I didn't know nothing about street teams. All I knew was that if Puff threw me in a lake of water, I'd do the backstroke in two seconds just to show off to him. And he said to me when Jason left, what are you going to do? I said, well, I guess what do you want me to do? He said, sink or swim, you run promotion. And at that time, I was not necessarily the favorite person at Bad Boy because, you know, you had a bunch of interns that were there for years that wanted the role. The company was changing. It was becoming more from a smaller boutique label to becoming a juggernaut movement of social consciousness and awareness. And Puff had the vision to start to position the company in a certain way. He brought over Josh Takeman. He brought you over. There was a marketing division being created. I think Nantucket Nectars was like the first huge deal yep. Josh was working yep. on. Mm -hmm. And um, I was babysitting the street team with, with the street team van. And we were sleeping, driving back and forth to all the shows. But we had to be in the office by 10 or we get a, a day's pay docked. That's a true story. Remember that? <laughs> so, you know, my role became so much more important. Then I had to deal with Arista, the parent label. And I learned from two great guys, Tom Maffei who I thought was incredible. Good guy. Um, and um, uh, Clive Davis. And, uh, and being in those rooms, just the aura and presence just made you want to be best. Like playing next to Jordan, you're going to have a better game next to Jordan. Playing next to Puff, you know, I want to be Scottie Pippen, he could be Horace Grant, but we played better next to Puff. It would just happen. If we played on other teams, we played great, but we just played better next to Puff because he made you want to step up. And then uh, probably for two and a half years, we moved over to 1345. And... Um, I'll never forget, it came the time where we probably were like the hottest team on the face of the earth. And I had just gotten married and just had my first daughter, Alexis. And um, I had an offer from Bob Jameson at RCA. He offered me half a million dollars a year, 27 years old right now. Half a million dollars a year plus a huge expense account, excuse me, and a huge budget, a promo budget. And I had an offer from Dave McPherson over at Epic. And um, Puff calls me into his office. He goes, so you leave, huh? And I go, you know, it looks like it. He goes, what you gonna do? And I explained to him my options. And I said to him, then there's this other thing over here, this management thing, Chris Lighty, violator management. He goes, are you stupid? I, I'm like, Puff Daddy calling you stupid. And this time, this is P. Diddy. This is, this is the guy I don't like. There's five personalities, we'll get into that later, but P. Diddy's <laughs> the one I don't like. And P. Diddy calling me stupid, and I go, huh? He goes, you know retail? You know marketing, you know marketing endorsement deals, you know promotion, you go and learn management, there'll be no stopping you. And right there, he picks up the phone and calls Chris Lighty and says, I'm loaning you my number one guy. Okay, so me knowing Puff, he was ready for you to get out the building. Yeah, he was done. Like, he, was done. he was done. He was done. Puff don't let no like Puff but, is like the 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 jealous girlfriend. If anybody is looking at you, he's like, hell no. No, 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 no. But see, there's a difference there. Tell me. Sometimes you need a coach to show you where to go. He was preparing me to be his manager. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.